Hey guys, welcome to Pan the Organizer. Today we do the full detail of this Mercedes C350. So initial inspection, we can tell that the wheels and tires need some cleaning, the fender wells as well. The paint has a lot of swirl marks and a couple of scratches in it. We'll have to restore some gloss as well. The exhaust tailpipes are oxidized and caked in carbon deposits. Another look at the paint here, you can tell all the swirl marks that are present. There are a couple of scratches, including a big one right there. So we're gonna have to address that. There's some gunk left behind by a protective film. Let's have a look at the inside of the vehicle. The carpets and floor mats are very dirty. We're gonna have to take care of the interior trim and clean and condition the leather seats. So let's get the show started. All right, so welcome back to the show, guys. We're gonna start by taking care of cleaning the tires and the rims. So we're gonna spray a tire and wheel cleaner, and we're gonna scrub the fenders of the tires with a hard bristle brush. We're gonna properly rinse everything off and make sure we also rinse the fender wells. Always make sure that you clean the interior part of your wheels and start with the top and make your way to the bottom. For the fronts of the wheels, I like to use a soft bristle brush and at the same time, make sure that you clean the brake calipers. I like to finish cleaning the wheels with a dedicated microfiber wash mitt. That way I can reach behind every spoke. While we're at it, let's clean the fender wells. All right, so using a foam cannon, we start with the pre-wash stage and this way it encapsulates and emulsifies all the dirt, lifts it to the surface, and then you can rinse it off before you even start touching the paint. I like to use a soft bristle brush to clean the emblems and badges. Alright, so now it's time to clean the paint using the two bucket method, meaning you have one bucket to rinse your wash mitt and another one containing the soapy wash solution. Again, for safe practices, always start by washing the top part of your car and then work your way to the bottom as this is usually the dirtiest part of the vehicle. All right, so to remove iron deposits that are embedded in the clear coat, we use a bit of CarPro Iron X. This is a translucent liquid that will change from transparent to purple when it reacts with iron filings. All right, so the next decontamination stage is the use of a clay bar and a clay bar lubricant. You gotta make sure to always spray some clay bar lubricant liberally on the surface to help the clay bar glide. 
The clay bar will help to remove any remaining tree sap, overspray, and any contaminants that might be embedded in the clear coat. Just have a look at all the gunk that the clay bar removed from this car's paint. It's absolutely incredible. While you're at it, also use a clay bar to decontaminate your car's windshield. Once you're done with the clay bar, make sure you thoroughly rinse the vehicle from top to bottom. So to dry the paint, I like to use a high quality drying microfiber cloth and I simply put it on the paint and I blot the excess water. For the more intricate and hard to reach areas, I use an air blower. This way I can do the grills, the lights, the tires, the rims, even the gas tank. Use a quality all-purpose cleaner to clean the door sills and make sure you hit the doors as well. So the first paint correction stage will be a compound. I like to use Meguiar's DA microfiber cutting discs with my Flex Orbital Polisher. I spread some compound liberally on the pad and then a couple of dots of the product and you do vertical and horizontal overlapping passes by putting 15 to 20 pounds of pressure on the polisher. After an hour of curing time, I like to top the ceramic coating with a coat of Reload Spray Sealant. This will add a bit more depth and gloss and protect the ceramic coating as well.
properly clean the air vents, I like to use the CyberClean cleaning compound. It disinfects it and collects all the dust. I finish it off with a soft bristle brush and a microfiber cloth to dust all the interior. We always have to make sure that we properly clean and moisturize and condition the car's leather. Always make sure that you clean and condition the leather steering wheel as well and the leather shift knob because look at all the grease and the gunk that we removed from there. <laughs> 